Let me tell you about the best storytellers, the, the best on-camera storytellers. You want to know the secret. The secret is this. They are people who care about something bigger than just the act of being on camera. And how they got to that thing that they care about, they followed their curiosity. They followed their gen genuine interests. Because when you're talking to that thing, and if you really care about it, it'll show up. You'll be magnetic. You'll, your interests will carry through. Like Your interest in the subject will be interesting to the viewers. I think about people like an Emma Chamberlain. All she does is walk around <laughs> and follow her curiosity. But because she's learning out loud and sharing it, she's, you, she's genuinely interested. Oh, what's this yoga studio going to be like? You know, she, <laughs> she, she is genuinely interested and cares about that thing more than being on camera. Colin and Samir, they care about the creator economy. They care about empowering people like you and that shows up on camera. Gary V, he cares about liberating you from your limiting beliefs. <laughs> so it shows up on camera. He cares about that more than what people think about him. And it shows up. His, his enthusiasm is contagious as a result. And here's a myth too. You don't have to be an extrovert. If anything, Extra, it's harder for extroverts to be on camera because extroverts respond to people. I'm an extrovert myself. It was hard. It was a learning curve to get good at talking to an inanimate object. I need to, because I need to feed off of emotion, how people are responding to me. But when I'm talking to that camera, I'm not getting a response. So it's, it's hard. It's hard to, to, to deliver. A, it was hard at the beginning to deliver a clear message and not get caught up because there was no feedback loop of, of how people on the other end were responding. But introverts, they like dealing, working in a room by themselves. They, they like being in a setting where there's not a, a person giving them immediate reactions to what they're saying. So, I mean, I, I think either way, either way, there's opportunities to thrive. There's plenty of introverts and extroverts who, who do wonderfully on camera. But again, I think it comes back down to people finding something that you truly care about. And it starts by following, following your curiosities. At the beginning, it's okay if you don't know something that you're, you're like, ah, this is my mission. It's okay. Start by throwing spaghetti at the wall. Throw pickles at the wall and see what sticks. See what naturally lights you up. See what you want to talk about even off camera. The best storytellers, the best on-camera storytellers do the work off camera. They, they get this well of information from podcasts, from experiences, from actually doing the thing, of actually go, walking the path of this new direction, finding out what they learned, take the things that are most important to them, the things that they are most curious about, channeling it and writing it and sharing it on camera. So find those things. What are you curious about right now? Is it, it could be anything, deep sea fishing. Right? Like the thing that lights you up, the thing that you find your I, I, I don't go deep sea fishing. It could be it could be a random new sport. I want to specialize in talking about pickleball. You know, like like what is that thing that lights you up? For me, it's empowering people to unlock their full potential. I, I want people to see their creative power because I believe everyone has creative power. I believe that a guy that is has a football coach is is a creative genius for the plays that he writes. I believe a carpenter is a creative genius for the way he sees a room. I believe that you're a creative genius for the way that you tell stories with a camera, even if it's just a smartphone. That's what I care about. And until I really found that and believed and, and, and knew that, I was just average on camera. But now I'm up there. But now I... I, I uh, you can tell what matters to me. So it shows, it shines through the lens. So that would be the number one thing. Find out what you care about. It could be a handful of things, but it starts by just following your curiosities now. Respond. What lights you up? 
what do you what do you want to talk to your significant other about you know but like you know before before you watch a show at night what do you want to share to people what do you find yourself calling your friends and talking to them about that could be the thing that could be the thing that you align your mission around have a mission have something that you care about bigger than what that lens cares about. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Put the camera on your face.